camp is something that's so near and dear to my heart, and I think it's, it's an opportunity that every kid should have the chance to experience. The best way that I know to find God is out in nature, just being outside, uh, being among the trees and, and on the water. I just want to put kids in those situations so that God can speak to them. That concentrated amount of time where young people can go and explore their faith in these sacred places. I saw the impact that it had on their lives and decided that that would be an important part of my ministry as well. We weren't connecting with all of the churches in the conference. Currently, we only have a third of the churches in the North Texas Conference that utilize uh, Bridgeport Camp and Conference Center. We saw a lot of people who had a strong history with Bridgeport, who had grown up going to Bridgeport and, and wanted to see that be a strong presence within the conference. Many ministers felt their call to ministry uh, at Bridgeport, but also wanted to think of ways in which we could spread that ministry and spread uh, the things that Bridgeport was doing. How can we reach folks who aren't currently using our facilities for either economical reasons, uh, geographical reasons, or for the simple fact that they don't know that Bridgeport even exists. And then Go Camp, of course, came out of that. Through talking with a lot of the people in the communities, we found state parks that are close by. We found Audubon centers and a lot of public use natural areas that are really accessible to the kids in their neighborhood. When we were looking at uh, Go Camp, one of the most important parts was making sure that we were integrating our unified curriculum that we use at Bridgeport into our Go Camp model. So that the young people that come to our Go Camp are getting a Bridgeport-like experience. It just seems like a no-brainer to me. Hey, here's some kids that don't have an opportunity to go to camp, so let's bring camp to them. Whatever it, it may be, for whatever reason, they're living in that neighborhood, but you get them outside of their neighborhood, you, you put them on a bus and you, you get them into some camp activities. The kids just really remind you of what you're supposed to do in the outdoors. They just want to have fun. They just want to be with their friends. They're curious about nature. They want to see what's down that path. They want to flip over rocks and see what's underneath it. They're just normal kids, just in you know a different situation. I want our church, Warren, and Go Camp to go into the community and be the hands of Christ and the feet of Christ and have the heart of Christ. We have one goal for our after school program and that's to do away with generational poverty. Go Camp will help support that goal. We do that by showing them the love of God. We don't say because you're poor, because you're black, because you're this, because you act, get, it, get suspended from school, whatever it is, none of that matters. In the end, they are a child made in the image of God. At Camp Bridgeport, you have churches that have been going out there for decades, and that's kind of where we are right now, is kind of establishing those firm foundations. And so if we're willing to come in and show these communities and these churches that we're willing to put the time and effort and energy in just for a busload of kids for the summer, and it shows them that, that we're passionate about it, that we want to continue this on. And everything we do is intentionally looking towards the future, looking towards how we can keep coming back summer after summer, how we can scale up and move forward to several different locations at the same time over the summer. We're really intent on building a firm foundation of solid relationships that'll last well into the future.